Hi everyone. We aren't usually going to do videos after one-off episodes, but this is something I felt compelled to do because small acts of courage are often lost in the histories. And so today I wanted to talk about modern Palmyra and I want to honor an act that I believe deserves from all of us a moment of remembrance. For thousands of years, Palmyra has stood as the shared inheritance of humanity, the desert climate preserving in its walls and stones our common history. And while it suffered over the centuries, if you went there last year, you could see buildings erected under Diocletian and Aurelian, Justinian. More than that, you could see our shared heritage. You could see the works of Canaanites and Assyrians, Hebrews and Greeks, Persians, Romans, Byzantines and Arabs, and come to understand the traditions, the legacies that make us who we are. This point in the desert served as a meeting place for cultures, the great trade of the East flowing through and making it a melting pot for ideas and ideologies for us to observe and better understand who we are. But in May of this year, ISIS captured Palmyra. And piece by piece, they've begun to destroy this embodiment of our shared past. They've dynamited the great temple of Bel, which stood for 2,000 years as a symbol of the common threads that tie us all. Its architecture is a mixture of Greek and Middle Eastern. The temple itself served as a place of worship, first for a Mesopotamian god, Bel, and then as a Christian church, and later as a Muslim mosque. And now none of us will stand in its halls and no child born today will ever see its bas reliefs. And they've gone further. They've leveled the great tomb tower of El Abel and turned the Greco-Roman amphitheater into an execution ground. They've demolished the Temple of Baal Shemin, a temple to a Semitic god built to commemorate the visit of a Roman emperor. They've even destroyed the Lion of Alat, uh, at whose feet read, Alat will bless whoever will not shed blood in this sanctuary. When ISIS entered Palmyra, an 81-year-old man, Khalid Muhammad al-Assad, the head of antiquities for Palmyra, chose to help make sure that the artifacts housed at the city's museum were removed or secreted away rather than just fleeing as soon as possible. And because of this, he was captured. And for a month, he was tortured as ISIS militants tried to get him to reveal where he had hidden these pieces of our shared legacy. And... Not once did he reveal a secret. At the end of the month, he was dragged to the steps of the museum where he worked and beheaded. He died to make sure that some of the legacy of Palmyra would be preserved for all of us. And so as we talk about Odinothus and the Palmyra of old, I just wanted to take a moment to remember this man and uh, think about what's going on there today.